E então pessoal, estamos aqui com mais um episódio de Hora de Aventuras Investigação de Finn, Jake e Ben. No último episódio a gente parou aqui né, no Reino de Fogo, porque a gente estava falando com o Canelinha a respeito da espada do Billy que ele tinha comprado no bazar que a Marcelina estava fazendo na caverna dele, né? E a gente pediu ajuda para ele, mas antes disso, é, antes dele ajudar a gente, ele pediu alguns favores para a gente, né? Para fazer a sopa dele aí. E ele pediu um carvão e... É, foi carvão, cara, e o outro eu não me lembro, o outro ingrediente. Então a gente vai pegar esses ingredientes pra ele, ó. Já tem carvão aqui. Nice! Like I always say, you can never have too much charcoal. Actually, I don't think I've ever said that. Então vamos lá. Stairs. Ah, é, o outro ingrediente que ele pediu era pimentas malaguentas, né? A gente vai conseguir essas pimentas aqui, ó. Wow, dude, check out this thing. Yeah, wow. How come this didn't seem important the last time we were in the hallway? What do you think it does? Um That, I guess. Uh-huh. Hey, there's Flambo. He's got a big pile of hot peppers. Hey, Flambo. How about giving us some of those peppers? Cinnamon Bun needs them for the soup he's making for Flame Princess. No way! These peppers are mine, fair and square. I ain't giving them up. Man, why can't stuff ever be easy? Yeah, right? <sighs> We gotta find a way to get those peppers from him. Ok, então é o seguinte, é, a gente vai apagar o fogo dessa lareira aqui, ó. Vamos apagar todos os fogos e deixar só o fogo em que o flambo está aceso, né? Só a máquina de fogo que ele está aceso. Então, a gente vai acender isso aqui com o carvão e a gente apaga os outros com aquele negócio que o Start estava usando, né? E aperta esse botão aqui. Fire in the hole! What the? Bad pepper! Well, that's one way to get the peppers, I guess. It would have been easier if Flambo had just given them to us. Oh well. Ok, vamos pegar as pimentas. Cool. E já temos os ingredientes do canelinha, né? É, agora a gente pode voltar lá e entregar para ele. Ué, cara, como assim? Ah, tá, gente, descobri. A gente tinha que pôr os ingredientes na panela. Puta merda, hein? Just the way Flame Princess likes it, I think. Now, we just need to heat up that fire and get it boiling. That's not working. Thanks, Finn and Jake. The fire's going great. There should be just enough peppers in there to make Flame Princess feel better. I'll set aside a little to taste and seal the pot to simmer. Cinnamon Bun, now that we've helped you, can we... Not until I taste the soup, Finn. Here goes. Ow! This food been burning my grave blood! Ow! Oh, I wish I had no tongue! Yeah! What the flip was that? That was a stupid thorn you were looking for! I told you it causes no tongue but grief! Oh no! The sword knocked the soup pot across the room! Could you guys go get it so I can put it back on the fire? <sighs> yeah, sure. Essa espada vai ser difícil de pegar, hein? 
Então a gente tem que ir atrás da panela do canelinha. Vamos até lá pegar ela. Mas eu não sei porque os degraus da escada quebrou. Porém a gente já pegou uma madeira. Vamos colocar ela aqui, né? Ainda está faltando uma tábua pra gente prosseguir. A gente não tem ela ainda. E dá pra conseguir ela usando aquele negócio que o Start estava usando lá de água. A gente coloca água aqui dentro. Vai transbordar e vai subir a tábua. Eu guardo de fogo nem faz nada, porque isso é ilegal, né? Não sei como é que o Finn guardou essa panela, né? Panela maior do que tia da cantina lá. You guys are the best. Glad we can help. Now listen, you've got to give that sword back before it causes more damage or somebody gets hurt. You can have it. I don't want it anymore. It has to be official. You have to give Finn the bill of sale so he's the official owner of the sword. Otherwise, he can't call it. Okay. Here's the bill of sale. No thong is yours. It must have worked! It didn't come flying when CB said its name. Awesome! I guess I'll just call it then. No t- Hang on! Remember Billy used to catch the sword with the gauntlet of the hero. If you try it barehanded, you might lose a finger. Or, you know, an arm. You hated it last time that happened. Yeah, that was no fun. But... The gauntlet of the hero was destroyed by the lich. Where else can we find a nice, sturdy glove to catch the sword with? Hey! How about all those weird catcher's bits that Lemongrab has in his castle? Maybe we could, um... Borrow one? Yeah, that's a great idea! Let's head over to Castle Lemongrab. Okay, but we better be careful. Lemongrab's probably still mad about the pranks, and being electrocuted, stuff like that. Yeah, good thinking. That's definitely worth noting. Aw, oh, come on! That wasn't even close to no tongue! Ugh! Would somebody please get that sword out of my kingdom? On it, princess! Come on, Jake, let's go! You! Why have you returned to Castle Lemon Crab? Listen, man, we're really sorry about what happened when we were here before. Our behavior was... Mm, unacceptable? Yeah, totally. Mm, yes, your pranks made me quite angry. You left that magic person in my reconditioning chamber. Hmm. Even I find him to be most unpleasant. Have you come to take him away? I hope. No, sorry. Actually, we came to ask if we could use something. Yeah, one of those catcher's mitts you have in all your display rooms. We won't take it out of the display, and we only need it for a few minutes. My catcher's mitts are very important to me and have great value in my lemon heart. But perhaps I can allow it. Oh, come on, Lemon Grab. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't really important. Wait, what? Yes, you may use one of my precious mitts. Awesome, thanks. We'll just go and... If you can bypass my new defenses, I have set up a security device that should eliminate all pranking in the future. If you can find a way past it, you may have the mint you seek. Knew there had to be a catch. <sighs> you got a deal. Where do we start? 
Begin in the hallway, where you first began your last tormenting of me. But do not dare to hope, for you will find that your attempts to break through are futile. Now, go! Bem, a gente precisa da luva de beisebol do Limão Grab, porém, como ele disse, ele colocou um sistema de segurança aí. E agora as portas têm essas trancas. Porém, essas trancas, elas são tipo um quebra-cabeça, Como vocês podem ver, tem dois limões sujos e dois limpos. Então a gente usa carvão para sujar e aquele negócio de água do Storch para limpar. Assim a porta vai abrir, conforme a sequência que tá ali em cima. Aqui está o de beisebol. Uh, realmente não era esse o primeiro quarto que a gente tinha que entrar. A gente precisa pegar alguma coisa para pôr aí. Hum, o catcher's mitt must be a lot bouncier than the gauntlet of the hero. We're gonna have to find some way to make the sword stick to the mitt. Então a espada não segura na luva, a gente vai ter que achar alguma coisa grudenta pra pôr aí, né? E já sabemos o local certo. Agora a gente vai ter que entrar no quarto do Limon Switch, que também tá trancado, né? Essa ordem é só ver essas ordens de limões. E a gente pode abrir. Um limão sujo, um limão limpo e um limão sujo. All clean! Now it's a light colored lemon pole. Aí desbloqueou a porta. Agora vamos até lá. E no quarto dele vai ter essas balas de limões. A gente pegou, né? É doce de limão. Eu não sei porque tá escrito doce de limão. Sendo que limão é azedo em qualquer forma, né? Mas enfim. Agora a gente vai dar essas balas pro limão grab. Porque isso daí já é outra pegadinha que a gente vai fazer. Que vai resultar em resultado. Aí, misturamos com pimenta e agora vamos usar pro limão grab. É outra pegadinha e isso vai nos ajudar a pegar a espada. Viva entrou lá no limão grab, cara. Yes! Sour non spicy lemon candy is my favorite of all treats. This is gonna be great. Mmm, wonderful. This is spicy, too spicy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> E ok, já temos alguma coisa grudenta para fazer a espada colar ali, né? Ah, tem que pôr fazer a regra dos limões de novo. Vamos lá. Now it looks like the dark colored lemon pulls. All clean. Now it's a light colored lemon pull. Vamos colocar o chiclete aqui, né, pra gente conseguir pegar a espada no chunk do Billy. E agora sim vai dar certo. 
Okay, let me try calling the sword again. No talk! Hey, it worked! Let's grab that stupid sword and get out of here. Yeah! Nice! Glad that's over. Let's head back to Billy's cave and put that sword where it belongs. Finn, Jake, you're back! Did you get Billy's sword? Yeah, but you wouldn't believe what we had to go through to get it. Nah, I was filling Marceline in on what you did. Glad it all turned out. And no hard feelings for taking all my peppers. We can even that score at some later date. Thanks. Marceline, how about you? Any problems tracking down all the artifacts and putting them back in Billy's cave? Um, no problems worth mentioning. Everything's back. We should be fine once we seal up the cave. Then what are we waiting for? I guess nothing. Hey, where are you going? Man, that is super annoying. Yeah, and it's gonna be a problem. The cave won't stay sealed if the sword keeps flying away to its owner. What can we do? I wish there was a way to make Billy the rightful owner again. That's it! Good thinking! If you destroy the bill of sale, the sword reverts to its original owner. Great! Let's do it! Ok, então a gente vai ter que destruir a nota fiscal dessa espada, né? Pra que ela não fique andando assim. E para que a gente possa fechar a caverna do Billy, então a gente vai colocar a nota fiscal aqui, ó. E vamos tacar fogo nela para destruir e assim a gente vai conseguir fechar a caverna do Billy. Now all we have to do is find a way to light the fire. Hey Flambo! Want the rest of your peppers back? Oh, there's some left? Yeah, sure. Now yours are great. All right. Bye-bye, Bill of Sale. Yeah! Now let's seal up Billy's cave so we can head home. Agora vamos fechar a caverna. E se não me engano a gente okay. encerra o caso. Now all of Billy's stuff is safely locked away where nobody will get to it. At least for now. Thanks guys. Sorry I caused so much trouble. It's okay. Just no more yard sales. Are you guys telling me what I can and can't do? Uh no. Marceline, you can totally do whatever you want. We would never. <laughs> oh, after all these years, you guys are still easy targets. See ya. Sheesh. I think I've had enough for today. Let's head home. You said it, buddy. I could use a little downtime. This investigation stuff is hard work. Então é isso aí, mais uma investigação concluída. Perfect! That's exactly what Bimo needed. There! Think! Jake! I have fixed the record player! Yay, Bimo! Whoa! Nice job, Bimo! That's even better than the old one! Yeah, that's awesome! What say we do a little dancing to celebrate our first four successful investigations? That's a great idea! I think we should start by playing my favorite record. The one mom and dad used to play for me. Where'd you put it, Bimo? I have it right here, Finn. Don't worry, I kept it very safe, and I cleaned it up just for you. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's spin that puppy. Here we go. Yay! Dance party! Um, there is actually music on your favorite record, right? Bimo, when you cleaned the record, what did you do? I noticed that the record was very bumpy, so I fixed it with sandpaper. 
is now smooth as the Bimo's bottom. Yay, Bimo! You did what? Bimo? The bumpy parts are what hold all the music and stuff. Without those, the record won't play. Oh no, Bimo has really messed things up. I'm sorry, Bimo. That's okay, Bimo. You were only trying to help. But man, what are we gonna do, Jake? That record was a reminder of how Mom and Dad raised me after they found me in the woods. I love that record. Don't worry, buddy. We'll think of some... Hmm. Jake, I don't know if I can concentrate on another case right now. I don't know, man. Check this out. Investigators desperate to fix Finn's favorite record. That's weirdly specific. Yeah, but it must mean there's a way to fix the record. What should we do first? Hmm. Well, let's start by taking the record to Marceline. She helped us the last time we had a musical problem. Maybe she knows what we have to do to fix it. Look! There's a new case available on the ticker type. E então pessoal, esse foi o vídeo, espero que vocês tenham gostado, e vamos ficando por aqui, e até mais.